There appears to be a fox that's stuck in netting around a tree stump of some sort. Hello, fella. Jeez, you are stuck. Hey, you bud. I know. I know. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. Right, uh, Abby, I am going to need you for this one, please. I've got it. It's really badly tangled around what looks like his tail on the bottom of his leg. Is it tight? It's just really wet round. I think his tail's like folded round. How long has he been caught? We think about four, at least four hours. At least four? Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm not quite yet. Not quite yet. How much more is there still to go? I can barely see. I think there's I think there's only a few that are actually holding him in, but I can't actually get to them because it's so so tight. There you go, you see. Okay. Right. Is this tail free? Okay. It would be worth giving him a, a check under anesthetic. So we can take him down. Do you want to grab the cake? Yeah. It's all right, my boy. It's all right, my boy. Here you go, big man. Ready? And now. Well done, guys. Fantastic right. job. All right, Fox. Let's get you back to Leatherhead. Once back at the center, the Fox was given a thorough examination by our vet team. Although showing no open wounds, his back leg was starting to show signs of constriction injury. Yeah, I don't see really any wound, but the whole foot is swollen from here. As for his tail, he seemed to have escaped remarkably lightly. The fox was moved into one of our pens for monitoring. All right, big fella, here's your new home. As constriction injuries can take several days, if not more, to show themselves, it was important to keep an eye on his condition, just in case. So this is a bit of an epic. This fox has been with us for quite some time now, had quite a nasty wound to the leg. But luckily that's all healed up. He's nice and feisty. We're ready to release him back to the wild to be free at last. He's gone. Well, he knew exactly where he was going, shot off back to the house where he was rescued. And fingers crossed, he won't be doing that again.